Bright and beautiful, a child's blessing. A gift for Haley Dieters from your mother, Heidi Dieters. Read to you, 2009. I love you, little lady. Heidi was very, uh, was always optimistic. Um, always looked at the, the bright side of things. Was always willing to help others, you know, ahead of herself. And just always, she put a smile on everybody's face. You know, that's just the way she was. She was just a, a happy-go-lucky gal. You know, and that's one of the things that I, you know, I loved about her. It all started when she was pregnant with Cody. She was having back issues and a lot of leg issues, just pain, and didn't know what was coming from. Well, they just basically blamed it on the pregnancy. You know, varicose veins are coming, so she was wearing these tights to kind of control that, the pain. But it just it never went away, and we just we thought, well, just okay, this is part of having my third child. You know, just bear it. You know, and, and finally. She did acupuncture, that didn't work. So finally she got in to see our doctor again and he says, you're not having back issues. I said, yeah. So he ordered the MRI and that's in, within that day we had gotten that bad news that her, her liver was cancer or covered in cancer. Not expecting that in a 32 year old. When we just started the chemo, I went to give her another month. She looked that bad, that much pain. But when we started that chemo, it was like night and day. You won't even know she even had cancer. She didn't lose no hair, no nothing. She was chipper happy-go-lucky again, you know, and that lasted for about 10 months. It, it had moved into her, I think it was her right lung or left lung, which was making it harder for her to breathe. So just a simple fact of standing up, walking to the bathroom, started to become a chore. And then finally one day she said, you know, that's it, you know, I, I can't do this anymore. So we called hospice up, which we were in contact with them already. So we met and we talked about hospice and she was very matter of fact, asked all the right questions. And she said, after the holidays, then I'll be ready. And sure enough, I, we set up a time that I was gonna call after the holidays and she said, yes, I'm ready now. I wasn't gonna put her in a hospital because that's her one thing. She wanted to be at home with the kids. And and she loved it. She, every day she had to see the kids, kiss them goodnight. And uh, it was, hospice was a great thing for us. I think hospice is very important. It allows families to keep their loved ones at home without um, outside funding and the volleyball specifically, we would not be able to provide a lot of things that we provide for families and patients going through this. Of all things wise and wonderful, all things that live and grow, he made you bright and beautiful from head to tippy toe. I love you, Haley. Love you always, little lady. Love your mama. We heard about these recordable books, and uh, we thought that would be like the coolest thing that, you know, she could read a story to each one of the children, and then uh, it records their voice, and the kids would always have that form, you know, it's just forever. Hospice had given us three books for all three of the kids, and each one's a different one, and so Heidi took each book off into the bedroom where it's nice and quiet, and would read, read, read each story and record her voice. To this day, they'll go in the little cabinet, they'll pull it off, they want to hear mom's voice. They pull that book open and mom will read them a story. All three of them will sit there, listen to that book. Okay, now it's your turn. They'll listen to all three books. And it just, you know, it's just like mom's there. For families, it's, it's a treasure. Hearing voices, hearing the voice of a loved one is calming, soothing, supporting, assuring. May God bless you. May he keep you. May love never be too far. And as you grow, I hope you'll know how wonderful you are. Love you again, little lady. 